Good day, welcome to a video. In today's video, we're looking at the FLIR CX-5. This is a thermal imaging camera, which is a great tool to have when it comes to troubleshooting multiple types of issues. I had just recently picked this up on a smoking deal. My neighbor had won this in a contest and had no, no need for it. So he sold it to me for $125. This retails in Canada for, I think, $9.75. So... I think I got an incredible deal on it. So when he said, he give me 125 bucks, it's yours. And I'm like, no problem. I will purchase it. Now I do currently have another FLIR type thermal imaging camera. This one I had before, I still have, actually attaches to my iPhone. It's nice in that sense that I can record video, I can take pictures and I can upload them directly um, to my computer. Unfortunately, this one here can take pictures only. It's way better quality, like it's more of a high-end um, unit, but I like the ability to be able to save to my phone anyways it's powered up right now it's got multiple features that you can go through and play around with that big button up top is your camera shutter and that small one beside it of course is your power on off There's lots of features in the menu there to go through and set your camera up. It's got Wi-Fi so you can connect to the internet, upload your images to a cloud, etc, etc. So one of the things that come in handy for is if you're having issues, let's say uh, something on your vehicle is heating up for whatever reason. I would driven my Jeep probably about four hours ago, so you could still see the hot spots in it from where I drove it, especially on the intake section. They're all lit up in yellow there. And where it's darker, it's obviously cooler. If you're having issues with, you know, heating up for example, if one cylinder is running hot than the other, this thermal camera would be able to pick it up and show you that, hey, something's wrong in this section. As you're going to see pretty quickly, is that um, a lot of people have issues with the radiators and stuff. And if you had a blockage for whatever reason, you would be able to go and put the thermal in imaging camera on the radiator and see the heat. Cause I, you can see my radiator right there where it's all yellow. And if you had a blockage, you'd be able to tell. Thank you. 
these are definitely one of those tools that are great to have it's not necessary for a lot of people because a infrared temperature gun can do the same thing it's just that with the thermal imaging camera you can actually see the heat in the actual part that you want to see the temperature at without scanning various sections and seeing but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions or comments post them below and i'll see you in the next one